Hi, Alan. Good Morning, to Bill. see you again. Thank you. So I was all excited. So today's the day you start with the demo. And I understand you're hydroblasting this. Don't you normally jackhammer these out? Uh, yeah, well, when we get a pool ready for replastering, there's several different methods for prepping the shell to receive the new plaster or pebble surface. Uh, the National Plasters Council approves several different methods. One of them is jackhammering or stripping the plaster off down to the gunite using pneumatic air hammers or electric. Uh, sand blasting and bond coat, or what we have here is a hydroblast, which is a high pressure water system that removes the plaster and leaves a really rough profile. Um, we warranty our work against delamination of the new surface uh, from coming off the old surface for 10 years, so we have to have the best method we know possible. Um, hydroblasting mm -hmm. happens to be a uh, fairly new uh, you know, technique. It's been around for several years, but not that many people use it, um, and it's kind of an you expensive like, investment. You kind of like to be the cutting edge guy, huh? Well, we like to do what's best, and if it mm -hmm. takes technology, we don't mind doing that. So basically what we do here is we're going to, as you're going to see in a few moments, is we're removing the old plaster or shredding it using 40,000 psi uh, pressure of water. Um, we prefer that over stripping or removing the plaster with pneumatic air hammers because it has a tendency to beat on the old gunite shell, uh, bruise it, and if it's on a hillside or there's other uh, dynamics going, it could potentially do a little bit of weakening of the shell or what we call shell trauma. So, uh, and especially a lot of pools now that the age of pools is getting older and older throughout Southern California, a lot of these pools have been replastered two, three, even four times and have been stripped repeatedly. And the more often the, they're stripped, the more often some of that gunite's removed and you keep removing a lot of the shell of the pool. And if you think of it this way, a swimming pool, the way it's built is the gunite or the structural cements, the muscle, and the steel reinforcements, the bone. And we don't like to keep removing that muscle and getting it so far back that all of a sudden you see the steel cage by the stripping method. So the water blasting is the answer to that. Um, it's very safe to the shell. It creates a great profile for the new material to stick to. And you can do it over and over and over again without damaging the shell, as you'll see in a few moments. Very cool. Why don't we go back and take a look? Let's go take a look. Okay. Well, this is a typical um, backyard pool that we're prepping. As you can see, it's covered. We use a landscape net. has small holes in it. And uh, what that does, that contains the blast material, 40,000 PSI uh, water blasting. will send plaster material literally 100 yards into the air, uh, very small pieces, fragmented. And uh, this tent contains it, but allows it to breathe because of the holes. And uh, we covered the back of the house with a little bit of plastic just to keep uh, any uh, um, debris or any, uh, any dust or any slurry from blowing up on that, if that gets by the net. And uh, it's very contained and uh, fairly easy to clean up after it's uh, properly uh, masked off and taken care of this. And, uh, but all the blasting takes uh, place underneath that, uh, whether it's a large commercial or a small residential, we always cover every pool uh, to kind of contain the blast material.